UAC has been doing illegal experiments for years. One doctor, Dr. Ventrue, is the worst. As he unleashes his big horse straight from the pits of hell. One Marine must stand up once again, blast away our fears. Do you dare go through this nightmare again? Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U07063 passing through 38000. Roger, Dark Star, descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26972. Roger that tower. We have them on radar, sir. They'll be landing in a few moments. Excellent. See that Counselor Swan is sent directly to me. Yes, sir. Tower, Dark Star on final. We've got you, Dark Star. You are set for lockdown. Welcome back. I can't believe it's come to this. I didn't want to come here. He left you no choice. True. But this is the last time. I'm tired of running damage control every time he makes a mess. Right. You're the control. And if that fails, I'm the damage. If that's what it takes, the Truger is going to start doing things our way. Whatever you say, Counselor. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To expedite your processing, please proceed here. directly to reception. I'm getting off this rock, and you should too. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bioscan. This will only take a second. Shuttle Delta Tango 14. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio. Okay, let me get this started. 
You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take longer. All right, bioscan looks good. You're cleared for entry. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Banks. and military Please report knowledge. to Central Administration. And well -being of all employees. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it sent up to your quarters. Okay, there's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important, so don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Mars City is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you I'm for your cooperation. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked, complaining, requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. Yeah, I saw those suits arrive too. Weird. UAC must be worried about something. IPN News Network, your unit. First now, the Union Aerospace Corporation denied allegations today of several reports showing a growing military presence on Mars. A spokesperson stated that increased activity is simply a tactical deployment to outlying planetary sectors. Authorities continue to search for the activists responsible in Monday's bombing of a biomech production facility, resulting in the destruction of hundreds of biomech labor units. In space news, mining station Amman is reporting nine dead and 28. Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, he said he just lost. Super Turbo Turkey Plunger 3! <laughs>
What's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started moving around and he got transferred fast. Attention, Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office report to Sergeant Alpha. Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. This is Delta Science Management. We would like to request another security team here in Delta. Took your sweet time, Marine? Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed this sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll pick up some gear at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurt him. Now move out. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director you for more details. Said, no, what? He said that he saw something. The UAC cares about the quality of life of its employees. Please, take advantage of our quality medical care services.
Welcome to the dungeon, Marine. Most unexciting place on Mars. I'm gonna need you to grab some armor and secure your pistol before I can pass you through security. Okay, grab your gear. Now you're ready for combat. Let me do a radio test. Mars Sec radio check. Excellent. Good signal. Looks like you've been assigned the decommissioned comm facility. Just follow the main passage through the underground junction, then straight out. You'll have a quick evac. And what better way to see the Martian surface than to run across it? Okay, you're all set. Oh yeah, keep in mind, civilians are working down here. Don't get excited and shoot at me. not sure you want to find him. You see... Uh, uh, never mind. Don't listen to me. Never mind what I said. Listen, Scotty. I've done this a million times. Grant Baston, your environmental services supervisor. The date is October 19th. I've been hearing an alarming number of reports on some uh, unexplainable things. Being on another planet and working underground has always been a little spooky, so we always have the occasional report of strange things. But what is worrying me is the fact that the number of these reports are up by a lot. People are truly frightened. The rumors we're hearing about experiments from the Delta Complex are not helping. The power fluctuations aren't helping at all either. Having the lights flicker constantly and losing power for several minutes at a time is scaring everyone down here. I'm doing my best to keep people in track, but we're continually shorthanded. Someone's reporting in sick almost every day. I'll keep my director apprised of the situation and will continue to log reports as I get them. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernache, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing. I checked the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over in that Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. The people down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Hey, you're that new guy headed for the old comm center, right? You better hustle up, pal. This passage doesn't go all the way there. You'll have a quick walk outside to the center's airlock. Hey, you just got plenty of oxygen. This is Sergeant Kelly. We need to double time it down there. Search your assigned area and haul your ass back to Mars City. Out. Huh? 
No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. Systems I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cave. I'm getting abnormal readings here. This is bad. God! We can't hold these levels. We're losing! <laughs> All units, this is Sergeant Kelly. We're under attack by an unknown enemy force. Fall back to Marine HQ to regroup. I say again, fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. Leaders, give sit rest. Over. Command HQ, this is Bravo Team. We've got one Marine down, two wounded. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 4. We are pinned down in Alpha Labs. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. Main power systems down in sub level. Backup and life support systems only. We've got lots of civilian casualties. It's a mess. Command HQ, attempting to secure the area. Directly to Marine Headquarters and await further orders.
this out again. What are you? Oh. <laughs> what is that? Your imagination is your own worst enemy. Oh, God. Total Blackout returns Tuesday, January 15th at 10.30, right after the season premiere of Face Off. Part of Sci-Fi's Tuesday Night Originals. Having acne's a bummer. Add dark marks and discoloration, too. That's a double whammy. Actress Naya Rivera knows all about both. You finally get rid of the bumps and blemishes, but then you notice some dark spots left behind. It's so unfair. Proactive's dark spot corrector is the perfect thing for those stubborn marks that won't seem to go away. You've got to try it. Now it's your turn to try the amazing Dark Spot Corrector, the skincare secret that's helping people all across America get beautiful, flawless skin. And when you order Proactive today, the Dark Spot Corrector, normally $22, is yours free. One of the biggest issues that I had after I stopped breaking out was dark spots. I felt like a second round of acne. But using the Dark Spot Corrector, I definitely saw results. I think it makes my skin look really good. <laughs> Within the first week of using it, I could tell a difference on just the evenness of my skin tone and getting rid of those dark spots. Order Proactive now to heal your acne and help prevent future breakouts for just $19.95. A great price for clear, beautiful skin. Plus, call today and the Dark Spot Corrector is yours free. And with this special offer, you'll also get free shipping. I think I'd lived with bad acne for so long. I had forgotten what it was like to have really great skin. And now, I feel like my skin's radiant. No more blemishes or the dark marks they leave behind. The Dark Spot Corrector helps aid dark marks and discoloration for all skin types. It just makes your skin look totally smooth so you don't look like a Dalmatian with all these little spots all over your face. An offer this amazing won't last long. Get Proactive, the Dark Spot Corrector, plus free shipping, and we'll even add these cool extras to make this offer irresistible. All together, an $82 value, just $19.95, and your shipping is free. Get more than clear skin. Get amazing skin with Proactive. Call 1-800-261-5695. People have asked me, you know, like, you have really nice skin, what have you done? And it's proactive, that's always the answer. Negative ID on the assailing force. They're mean at those. We don't have a clear path back to HQ. Stock up on ammo, establish a stronghold, and keep them at bay.
wounded. We are incoming and need medical on stage instead. Command HQ, this is Fire Team 2. The monorail track is destroyed. Unable to secure safe transportation back to base. Over. Roger that, Fire Team 2. Fall back to the nearest station and set up a CP there. Out. This is Sergeant Kelly. Fall back to Marine HQ and await further orders. All remaining Marine units, this is Sergeant Kelly. I am unable to reach Mars City from my current position. Move to Marine HQ to regroup and await further orders. Still alive. I can't believe I found you. Something happened. I don't know what. It, it was like a shockwave. It, it passed through this the This is the audio base. log of Frank Delahue, engineering change. manager assigned to power production dated October 18, 2145. I don't know how. The current I operational status of the Go grid is 23% over nominal capacity. No way. I'm staying up here. It's the only safe place. You can't get me down. I'm staying here. Be careful. I don't know what's in there. This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production dated October 18th, 2145. The current operational status of the grid is 23% over nominal capacity. I've increased work shifts to 12 hours a day for all personnel to keep up with demand. The constant and increasing load from the Delta Complex is causing havoc. We are going to start losing critical systems if we have to sustain these levels much longer. I request clearance to requisition parts from other departments in order to maintain our equipment. Okay, I don't know what is going on over in Delta, but I'm doing all I can down here. The constant demands are bad enough, but the rumors going around are making things a whole lot worse. And I gotta tell you, if things don't get better soon, all hell is gonna break loose.
This is the audio log of Frank Delahue, engineering manager assigned to power production, dated October 24th, 2145. Reclamation problems continue to plague the main processor. Two more valve overloads on that unit in just the past week. These overloads can destroy the valves, causing very dangerous fire, jetting with enough heat to incinerate sensitive equipment nearby. To date, we've had only one reported injury as a result of these valve failures, and this is due in large part to the quick response of the engineering team. Our procedure of entering the failure code 842 in the operation terminal has proved adequate, and I recommend no changes in that procedure. Specialist Wilson, my team is gone. They're all dead. I'm running blind here. What are my orders? Over. Specialist Wilson, this is Sergeant Kelly. Stay sharp, son. Look to your last known RP and fortify your position. We'll find you.
you're still alive. I'm unable to return to Mars City. All passages out of the Delta Complex have been blocked. I'm setting up a command post here. I can monitor status reports of the entire base from Delta Central Authority and communicate with other Marine teams. It's your mission to link up with Bravo Team and get that transmission sent. Head toward Alpha Labs. It's the fastest way to find them. I'll update your PDA security clearance from here. Good job, and good luck, Marine.
Marine. If you run across any operational sentry bots, use them. Those guys pack a lot of firepower. The UAC is here to help you. Psychological services are free and confidential. We gotta get to Bravo team quickly. They need all the firepower they can get. Sending that transmission is critical to our survival. I don't think you understand, Dr. Petruger. No, I understand everything. I'm telling you now, Doctor, the UAC is taking over this operation. Operation? Is that what you're calling it? The situation is out of control. It's not out of control, Swan. You are. I'll manage this, and you and your flunky will be taking control of nothing. Do you understand? Yes, Petruger. I think I do understand. Okay, plan B. designated phase one by the Union Aerospace Off-World Research Division, the Alpha Labs began construction in 2095 and became fully operational July 17, 2130. Originally created as the Body Science and Research
Don't stop, buddy. There's nothing you can do for me. They're all gone. Access denied. Surprised us. This came out of nowhere. Yes, it was. Help! And I thought, what if you hadn't been there? I ordered my medical alert the next day. I can't describe how safe I feel now with my medical alert. You didn't know I was wearing it, did you? Medical alert is easy to install, waterproof, and covers you inside your home and out. It helps me feel safe from fires, break-ins. And of course, a medical alert. And if you don't have a home phone, don't worry. They have that covered. There's always help at the push of a button. Don't wait till you need it. Call today for your medical alert personal alarm system. Plus, you get this second button free when you order today. And for a limited time, get this emergency lockbox free. Go to medicalalert.com or call 1-800-800-0403. That's 1-800-800-0403. My job is simple. Can't pay for your car. The bank takes it back. Can't pay for your liver. Well, that's where I come in. Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker. Repo Man, this Thursday at 9, only on Sci-Fi. Robot Combat League, coming this February, only on Sci-Fi. In the depths of an abandoned gold mine, there's a lot to be afraid of. But this January, there's something even scarier. What was that? No idea. Ghost Mine premieres Wednesday, January 16th at 10, right after Ghost Hunters, only on Sci-Fi. 
Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna have to ask you to power down your little word game. I think your friends will understand. Oh, no, it's actually my Geico app. See? I just uh, paid my bill. Did you really? From the plane? Yeah, I can manage my policy, get roadside assistance, you know, pretty much access Geico 24-7. Sounds a little too good to be true, sir. I believe that when pigs fly. Mm. Okay, did she seriously just say that? Geico. Just a click away with our free mobile app. <laughs> Bravo team reports there's some sort of unidentified growth taking over parts of the base.
Access granted. Marine, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo Team yet. You need to pick up the pace. You can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around and it's rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles.
Warning. EPD laser active. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished.
something is really wrong, this isn't you. What is happening to me? I told you to look out for her. Your anger is hurting. You're changing. You gotta fight it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Lost Girl, an original series, premieres Monday, January 14th at 10, only on Sci-Fi. Tired of faded bumpers, foggy headlights, weathered, sun-damaged vehicles? You've spent time and money applying product again and again to hide those embarrassing parts on your car, only to have that work fade away. Not anymore. Introducing Wipe New, the world's longest-lasting solution for restoring and protecting your vehicle. And we guarantee it to last for years. Just apply Wipe New once. It's quick and easy to do. Just one swipe and watch your car turn showroom new. I've been a professional auto detailer for 30 years. Years. Now, I restore faded plastic rather than just clean it. And I do it in no time at all. I apply white new to bumpers, side panels, even dashes and interior plastic. Simply apply it once and it lasts for years. White new is the most revolutionary car care product that I've used in my entire detailing career. We applied white new to the driver's side of this vehicle. We then sent this car through over 100 powerful car washes. White new never faded or washed away, proving that the results will last for years of real work. World environmental exposure. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it, Brandon. I got it about two years old, and I've never seen it shine like this. And we guarantee it to last for years. Use it on bumpers, decorative outside panels, side view mirrors, even vinyl or leather car seats for a protected showroom new shine. Don't spend a fortune on temporary fixes. Order the revolutionary white new for only $19.99. But wait, order now and we'll double the size. That's enough for two cars. There's still more. Order now and get the pro detailing kit with the headlight applicator bonus. Just pay separate shipping and process. That's right, white new restores your headlights too. Order now and get it all. Plus a two-year guarantee. A $50 value for only $19.99. Order now. To get your Wipe New detailing kit, call 1-800-670-8009. Wipe New comes with a two-year money-back guarantee and is not available in stores. So call 1-800-670-8009 and order today.
Gah! Oh, he startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The Hydra got blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful with that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. This is the audio log of Director William Banks, dated October 20th, 2145. It has come to my attention that we have an alarming number of missing personnel throughout the base. My office has received four additional reports from Delta in the last week alone, mentioning that personnel are not reporting for work and that calls to their quarters have gone unanswered. My office has sent the names of those personnel to Mars City Security, promised to initiate an investigation, but this news is very disturbing, especially at a time when we have so many people in the infirmary suffering from sudden cases of schizophrenia and other psychological disorders. I hope there is no connection between those cases and these reports of missing personnel. This is Paul Simon, security specialist in IT. Our network security has been breached several times over the last few days. Now, it looks like it may have been going on longer than that, but whoever did this really knew what they were doing. They covered the tracks really well. I just happened to notice some log anomalies or it would still be going on. The intrusion came on an encrypted carrier signal from the Delta complex. They piggybacked the virus on one of the supercomputer requests and appealed it itself from the data stream once it was inside our firewall. Someone on the inside there has to be responsible. Unfortunately, due to security in that complex, I can only tell it came from within Delta. There's no way to identify which machine or even which lab it came from. Whoever was in our system had access to all personal data, including medical reports. My team will be monitoring the network closely in the next few days, looking for anything unusual. End of log. This is the audio log of Director William Banks. Dated October 5th, 2145. It has been brought to my attention by environmental services that the recent power grid changes have caused many non-critical systems to malfunction. The report explains that this is due to either intermittent power outages or lower than optimal voltage input. It also says that sufficient power distribution to all non-critical systems is becoming more difficult to maintain thanks to Dr. Vitruger and his so-called optimizations to the energy stores in and around the facility. I assured the director of ES that I would file a report with central authority over this. Audio log for Jack Smith, a benefits analyst in HR 1024-2145. I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was when John Hughes, whose hand was caught in one of the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket. It managed to activate without an apparent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. It's been reported that the uh, machine is still running shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. We're going to overrun our budget on benefits payout this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well, because according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review at corporate end of law.
everyone. The UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocon. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocon... ...and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon... for hydrogen fuel, a substance so versatile